In the previous video, we have seen that how can we read, display and save an image with the help of OpenCV using several functions. Now we are going to see that how can we draw different geometric shapes in OpenCV. So what are we going to learn with this function? We are going to draw a line, a rectangle, circle, ellipse and we can also put text. That means we can display a text on any particular image we can say. So what we have to do, to draw basically the image dimensions which we have is let's say 1512 into 512. So this is actually the width of that particular image and this is the height. Sometimes we also get the dimensions like this 512, 512 into 3. So this 3 is actually the color component RGB red, green and blue that is there. Now the question might arise that how can we actually plot something or draw something on a particular image. For that what we need the most is the coordinates. We need the coordinates of any shape to draw it on any image. So what happens exactly is let's say if this is the axis y and x. Now why I am taking it inverse, in other we have seen that this is actually the y axis and this is the x axis. So why it is different over here I will tell you later on. Now if I get a certain coordinate of let's say I am drawing a line and if I get a coordinate like this that I am drawing a line on 150, comma 150 and my initial coordinates are 0, comma 0. So what actually happens is 0, comma 0 is obviously here where x is also 0 and y is also 0. Now firstly it is incremented 150 this side. So it increments like this x plus w over here. Let's say this is the 150th point. Here we are not talking in pixels we are talking in coordinates. So this is the 158 coordinate or we can say the 150 point which is there in the x axis. Similarly in y axis it moves 150. So we can say here it comes in the y axis and this is the 150 point. So now these two points actually come here and this is the point or we can say 150 comma 150 and this is the line which is going to be made 0 comma 0 and then 150 comma 150. This is the exact line which is to be made and these are the axes which you have. Now if I take like this some other coordinate or we can say 320 comma 150 then x will move from here and it will come here and this position the line will be drawn for it for 320 comma 150. So I have discussed it here because so that you can actually visualize that how actually plotting is done on an image. Now we are going to discuss it with the help of code. So here you can see that I have firstly imported numpy array and then cv2 that is open cv and this is actually a we use from google collab patches to import cv2.imsu because things are quite different which we execute in Jupyter Notebook and then in Google Collab. So for that you have to write like this. Now if I am using the same image of the flowers which we used in the previous video also for storing, displaying and then again saving the image. And I want to firstly print the image shape that what is the shape of the image so that I can know the exact coordinates or we can say the width and height of the image. And then I want to draw a diagonal line, a blue line with a thickness of 5 points. So these are my starting coordinates, we can say that 0, 0, the starting point, 100, 200. You can take it like this also, which we used to do in basic, basic mathematics, that x1, y1 and x2, y2. And the end points and the color is given here. So this is for the color component RGB and the thickness that has to be 5. So this is how we use the function here, you can see img is equals to cv2.line on the image starting coordinates, end coordinates, the color component and the thickness and then lastly img.show. When I execute this particular cell, here you can see that a line is drawn. This is actually the shape of the image 346 into 520 and according to that only the plotting is done. If you take this axis as x and y then the line will actually shift from here but we got a line like this that's why I take this as y axis and the above axis as x-axis. So this is how we can draw on a particular image a line. Next we can also draw on 
our own by default image if we want to create and that we can do with the help of numpy array and if you want to do it on any particular image which you want to create by default then you can do it with the help of numpy array here you can see that i have actually commented this line earlier so that i can show you on the image and here we have drawn a numpy arrays and matrix we can say we have built and why matrix because an image is actually a combination of pixels which is there in the form of matrix that we discussed in our previous videos so this is how we have actually drawn an array or we can say an umpire array for an image and then similarly printed the same line and when i execute this particular cell here you can see that this is the image which we have created in the background black image you can see and this is how the line has been drawn and the shape changes because we have given different shape in the numpy array you can see here 512 comma 512 and 3 that means the width and height is same and this 3 is the color component which is to be given next we are going to see that how can we draw a rectangle and what are the coordinates of rectangle and how they actually differ now in rectangle what happens is similarly you have these two axes which are there or we can say that this is the image which we have so this is the x we can say and this is the y and here the increment goes on w on the width and here the increment goes on the height we can say now if i want to draw a rectangle then you need a top left corner and a bottom right corner for drawing a rectangle at this time we draw let's say a green rectangle so that we will display in the color on the top right corner so you can see that this is actually the top right corner which is to be there so what you have to do is you have to give the coordinates let's say i am giving the coordinates here as 384 comma 0 and then i am giving the coordinates as 5110 comma 128 so what happens is this rectangle is needed to be done so we can say firstly in x1 we have 384 so x keeps on incrementing and let's say at this point it reaches at 384 and here y is 0 so it selects this point okay similarly next what happens is x is now 5110 okay so it goes on a little bit more and let's say this is the 5110 point and here the coordinate here y also increases as let's say 128 so at this point we say that this is the 128th coordinate so it comes here and it joins 128 it is there and this is how we can say a rectangle is drawn at this point so now let us see how can we do that with the help of a code So here you can see that now what we have done we have created a black image only we have taken that we have done in previous example also and we are going to draw a line which is there of thickness we have given here here you can change the thickness also like here i want to give the thickness as 5 and as i execute this particular cell here you can see that it shows me a rectangle which is there on the top right corner and this is the dimension of the image and according to that the coordinates are mentioned similarly you can change the thickness from here also like here you can give 3 also and then execute the cell again so here you can see the thickness of the rectangle which is there on the image is actually reduced a bit and for that we use the function simply cv2.rectangle next we are going to draw a circle now let's see how a circle exactly gets drawn now what do we need to draw a circle on any image firstly we need to know the center coordinates and we also need to know the radius for it these are the two things which we need to draw for a circle so we simply used cv2 dot circle and here on the image we give firstly the coordinate so let's say we are giving the coordinates here as 447 and 63 then i am giving the value of radius let's say 60 and here i have to give the color of which color circle i want to draw and then i have to pass another parameter let's say minus 1 now what actually this parameter is minus 1 it is for your closed and solid figure whereas if you give here just the value 1 then you will just get the boundary of that circle not a closed figure if you give closed then you will get a complete circle which is solid circle we can say otherwise you will get the boundary so similarly by judging the coordinates of x and y and incrementing them on their respective axes it will draw a circle of radius 60 so let us draw, implement this example also so here you can see that now we have taken the images of flowers and i have commented the line of the default image and then what we have done we have drawn a circle and here we have given circle points as 245 comma 173 the radius which we have given is 40 this is the color component 
and minus one is for the solid figure which is to be drawn. And when I execute this particular cell, here you can see that a solid circle is drawn on the flower which is the background image we can see. And if I do this and if I change this for a bit, here I write simply one. And now I execute the cell. So here you can see that we just get a boundary of circle instead of the closed figure. So this is just the use of this parameter. And you can do it for any other shapes also. It's not necessary to do it for circle. Next we are going to see that how can we draw two shapes in one figure we can say or in one image. So here you can see what I have done is firstly I have used the image which is in background that is black image not the flowers image now and then I have firstly drawn a circle we have taken the coordinates of previous only and then I have used to draw a rectangle. Now this rectangle or the square which will be formed is exactly going to enclose the circle within it. So here you can see that as I execute this particular cell you can see here the rectangle or we can say the square figure is actually enclosing the circle figure along with the coordinates which we have given and 5 and 3 are for the thickness. Next we are going to see that how can we draw ellipse or in a polygon. Now for drawing an ellipse what do we need as parameter like in circle we have seen that that we need the coordinates and the radius of course and similarly minus one or one can be used according to your need that you want to draw a closed or solid shape or you want to draw just a boundary of it. Now for drawing an ellipse what you have to give is firstly after giving the coordinates you have to give the angle that means the angle of rotation of that particular ellipse that it is rotating clockwise or anti-clockwise so that rotation you have to give the start angle and the end angle and the values can be like this 0 comma 0 comma 180 so when you will give like this then this ellipse will only have this lower bound you can say and if you give it 360 then you can get a complete ellipse which is to be there you can get an ellipse like this a complete ellipse which will be there according to the coordinate so let us see that how can we draw an ellipse with the help of example so here you can see that we have taken the zeros of the numpy array image only and then firstly we have printed the shape and then for ellipse here we have given on that image the coordinates and then here i have given 360 that means i want to draw a complete ellipse the color component in minus one that means i want a solid shape of ellipse not just the boundary here you can see that i have also drawn a polygon now for drawing a polygons we need polylines we have given several coordinates in the form of numpy array only and this parameter true is actually done for drawing a closed polygon. If I pass here false, then I will get an unclosed polygon or we can say the boundaries won't be joined. So let us firstly execute this cell and then we will change the parameter. And as I execute the cell, here you can see that firstly, this is an ellipse which is drawn and here is the polygon which is there. Now let us change several parameters which are there. Like here we can see that in ellipse if in place of this 360 I write here 120 180 and this minus 1 if I do it 1 so that means I am going to get just the boundary similarly here in place of true if I write like this false and again I execute this particular cell so now here you can see that because of writing 180 the ellipse which is drawn is just only having the lower bound we can say because of 180 axis it is not doing the complete rotation of 360 degrees also the polygon is now not closed it is just an unclosed polygon of the points which you have given and why i have just got the boundary because here i have passed the parameter as one and one only gives us the boundary in place of the solid shape next we are going to see the last thing which is remaining that is how can we actually write a text on certain image now for drawing or we can say writing a particular text what we need to do firstly I have taken the image with the help of default image of numpy arrays and this is the image which is there I have printed that image firstly and then in that image we have actually drawn a circle I have given the coordinates of circle and I think by now you understand this formation this is the coordinates the radius the color and the thickness of that circle and as I have given no parameter of minus one or one so by default it takes as one only that means it is going to just give me the boundary of a circle next here I have reused the variable font cv2.font now these are open cv fonts and you can search for any other font also you have to just simply type in google that several open cv fonts and you can get other fonts also and then we have used the put text method to put the text on that particular image this is the text which i want to put that is go edu hub these are the coordinates where i want to put the text the font which we are using 
and then we are here giving the color coordinates which is there and then we are just using the show image as i execute this particular cell here you can see that it draws an empty circle or we can say the boundary of that circle and lastly it writes here go ahead you have so what it does actually is it leaves the first 10 we can say in coordinates of x axis and then later on which coordinate we have given that is 500 so in x it's traveled to 500 so the image last coordinate is 5112 so let's say that it travels here up to 5110 and then it writes the text which is here so by the end of this video we have seen that how can we draw certain shapes and also put a text